I felt amazing that day. I felt I was really feeling myself that day. <laughs> Hi, Harper's Bazaar. I'm Jenny, and we're going to be looking back at some of my fashion moments. This is fashion flashback. I'm like looking at, back at myself, like judging me. This is fun. <laughs> This was our very first debut stage as Blackpink for Bumbaya. For this stage, we were playing around with the idea of having a uniform but make it fashion. I used to talk to my stylist a lot regarding what's more of Jenny. To make anything special, I've always had interest in fashion since I was a kid. So it was just natural for me to like give any feedbacks or ideas that I had back to the stylist. We just destroyed this vintage t-shirt that we owned and just made it into a thing. I would say it's like a punk, uniformy type of Blackpink vibes. <laughs> would I wear this today? Probably not. <laughs> But I think it's a very iconic look of Blackpink. All of us really loved what we were wearing back then and we just really enjoyed it. So this was in 2018 at a Chanel event in Seoul. I really love this look. It does. Okay, I learned this word, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Nautical look. I would say like a marine sailor inspired um, look. I do remember we made the skirt very short into a mini skirt, which was a big step for us. We had to do a lot of fittings and change the fit a lot. But I think overall it came out very lovely with the red lipstick. It's definitely one of my favorite looks. Being a part of the Chanel family was a dream come true moment for me. I just grew up loving all the items I would steal from my mom's closet and just watching the shows. It was a dream to wear one day as a little girl. I'm so shy. I get really shy talking about this. I'm so honored, you know. I, there's not words to, to describe how I felt back then. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> wow. You guys are really taking me back. This look, I remember specifically, was for a stage for solo. This is a Erdem dress that we made it into our own. I just love this look. It, this really, to me, is like what Solo represents. We styled it with jeweled hair clips on the side. I definitely remember cutting that dress really short. And then we did the one-sided off-shoulder look. It had a lot to do with the choreography, so we kind of wanted to make that side a little bit revealing. I wore this again in our world tour in 2019. I just wanted to wear this dress one more time. So I just had to give a live moment for the dress for with the fans, so yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite moments in my life. In my life, I said. This was a custom made look for our 2019 Coachella stage. There's two looks, but we didn't have enough time to get changed in the backstage. So I decided to throw on this see-through flowy dress on top so I could just rip it open to go back and do the black pink thing. Because we have a lot of choreography happening in every song, we do want the ability to move around, but also look cute. So that's the challenge every time, I think for us to make both happen at the same time. Interacting with the fans and just the energy that I got from the crowd that day, that's when I realized, wow, there's a lot of people who, across the world, who probably don't speak my language, listens to our song and really enjoys, you know, us. I think it's like a perfect Coachella moment. This Love Sick Girl look was 100% just made from nothing. We customized this from like head to toe. We made the skirt into a top and then we created a top out of a scarf and then sewed the cardigan on top because we thought like the shoulders were showing too much and then we had to find the matching color pants with the skirt. A lot happens shooting videos for us. Like we do thousands of fittings and we create something out of nothing always. But for the best and we all enjoy it. Ah, this was Blackpink attending VMAs for the first time. We did the carpet and we performed Pink Venom. We were just so excited to be there. We all were wearing different brands that day at the carpet. Obviously, I'm wearing a beautiful Chanel piece there. I loved my hair and makeup that day. I just have to say it out there, but me and Rosie 
we're I think talking about how unreal it is for us to like be a part of this, not the ones that are watching. I mean, it was just a really proud day for Blackpink. It was the first time performing Pink Venom on a big stage. Lisa also got an award that day. We were so happy to be there for her and a day of celebration. I love this photo of us. We look pretty. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This is something that I have an actual current memory of in my brain. So this look was the idol red carpet look at the Cannes Film Festival. This was definitely my princess moment that I've been dreaming of. This was a couture dress from Chanel. And I remember we pulled down the black like, sleeves that were supposed to go around either like the hair or covering the whole shoulders. We just pulled it down to make it a little bit more feminine and just princessy. <laughs> this moment is so special for me carpet and just being there with the whole crew. I've known Abel before we started, so he's just great to be around with. Lily's just so fun. Troy's so fun. Rachel's so fun. Yeah, I had a great time. So that scene in the backyard, the choreography scene, I learned that without a mirror. I did that in like an hour, two hours, less than that. So I'm very proud to get that done in the spot. This was the Met 2024. I'm wearing a costume, a Laya look. It's in this beautiful cobalt blue color. It reminds me of the ocean. We added a bit of the pearl chain around the waist to keep it classic. The earrings were matching the belly chains that I was wearing. To make the heels in the right color was definitely a challenge for us because we wanted to get it right. We had so many options, but I'm so happy that we went with the blue. I felt amazing that day. I felt I was really feeling myself that day. <laughs> <laughs> this one brings back a lot of memories. So this was in Capri. I walked for Jacquemus 15 years anniversary show. First of all, this dress was everything. It was so perfectly fitted for my body and so gorgeous. Just when I first saw it, I fell in love. When I put it on, I fell in love even more. We added a little bit of Capri touch with the color of the bag and the shoes. And Simon is just the best to work with. He made sure that everything felt right and everything felt me. When I look back at this photo or any of the videos, I'm like, how did I do it? For a petite girl to walk a show means a lot really like thank you Simon once again I love you for making this dream come true for me and I'll never forget it thank you for watching be sure to check out my Hopper's Bazaar cover love you guys